Well, myths about homeschooling are that you're going to miss something. You're going to get behind. How can I possibly, how can I, the parent, possibly cover everything? Mm -hmm. Those are the things that stop people from homeschooling, and they don't stop to think about what the learning process actually is mm. and how we actually learn as human beings from the time that we're born until today. So uh, once parents can start unpacking that, they can get comfortable with the idea. The first thing is that with homeschooling, you you should not, cannot, do not have to, some people do, um, try to create school at home. Right. And that, you know, I feel like uh, that's where a lot of parents try to start because it feels like it's what they ought to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, but really, when you understand that homeschooling is so much more open and so much more flexible and if there are any formal lessons at all, they don't look anything like they look like in a classroom where a teacher has to be managing 30 minds at one time. Right, right. So one of the myths is that a parent doesn't have the expertise to do it. That's not true. Mm. And this is one of my favorite ahas. Um, I'm a former homeschooling parent as well. And just that, you know, learning is an inside job. Me as the teacher, I'm so secondary to mm -hmm. what's going on. And really all that I need to do is to listen to what's going on in my kid's head and help them il illuminate that if they want help illuminating it. Right. Right. So I, I think that the, those are the biggest hurdles for people when they go into homeschooling. And then the last one is the college thing. Right. Parents don't want to like, you know, limit opportunities for their children. We're all about how can we increase the number of options my kids have. Mm -hmm. And I think that homeschooling really expands the options for kids mm -hmm. because they have time to pursue their passions. And, you know, we have kids that go deep into gymnastics or deep into poetry or, you know, whatever it is. And they wouldn't have the opportunity to do that if they were locked into a school schedule. Right. Um, and had, you know, had to do that lit homework. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.